or trunk level 1 with a signaling speed of 1.544 megabits per second, T1 is the standard form of digital transmission used in North America. Before T1, plain old telephones would require four wire of cross-connect. Add a computer and that's another four wires. Throw in a fax machine and add two more wires. As each connection is added, the wiring begins to exponentially increase. And that's just for one room. Say you want a computer in each bedroom, telephone in every room, and that's just one floor. One could get tangled up in all that cross-connect. Epic fail. T1 comes to the rescue in converging up to 24 channels into one cable. These days usually on fiber or Cat5. Cat5. Cheaper, more efficient, since... I don't know, go look up on Wikipedia. <coughs> to accomplish this, first we need to derive a method of converting analog signal to digital. The solution? Pulse, Pulse code, code modulation. modulation. Where sound waves get converted into binary code represented in electrical square wave. The most common PCM method is to sample a voice conversation at 8,000 times a second. PCM works by sampling the amplitude of sound wave by a process called pulse amplitude modulation. PAM is then coded into an 8-bit binary number sampled at 8,000 frames a second. The binary values are then flattened to create what's called a channel, or DS0, a voice grade channel of 64 kilobits per second, the worldwide standard. As not to get confused, T1 is a physical component, and DS0, the digital signaling or traffic. So how does one transmit multiple signals on the same line? The answer? Time division will be flexing. The analogy used by Newton's for TDM is that a train track represents T1. Each cable car represents a piece of data for each channel, combining a total of 24 channels or 24 DS zeros, totaling what is known as a DS1 a 193-bit digital signal with bandwidth of 1.544 megabits per second. What is this bandwidth you speak of? As we sample at a rate of 8,000 frames a second into 8 bits each frame, combining the 24 channels total, and then adding a single framing bit per channel, we arrive at 1.544 megabits per second, the capacity of T1 information. Framing bit? Represented by the engine car, the framing bit is an error control procedure as well as a method of synchronization. As each DS1 whizzes by, there is a possibility of losing track of the coding. The framing bit reestablishes the beginning or end of the digital signal and sets it back on track. Framing can be formatted in two ways. The first is super frame. 12 frames of DS1. This is old school formatting, so we'll just trash it from the presentation. You know this. Oh, what we want is extended super frame. Comprised of 24 frames of digital signal 1. Each handles 193 bits in 24 channels of DS0. 192 bits comprise the frame size and data known as the payload. The extra bit is the overhead and framing bit. ESF subdivides the 8,000 bits per second using 2,000 bits per second for framing and signaling. Another for cyclic redundancy check, and the remainder 4,000 as data link. In order to keep track of all the ones and zeros, the system has a form of line coding, used as another method to prevent errors when numerous amounts of zeros can produce a buildup of DC voltage or cause equipment to lose synchronization. Try to keep up with the binary code as it scrolls across the screen. To prevent this, two possible line coding techniques can be used. 
How do you differentiate between how many ones and zeros are in the line code? Alternate mark inversion generates alternately inverted positive and negative pulses. AMI's flaw comes when there are a numerous string of zeros. Tracking becomes lost, and because of this, we'll go ahead and shoot the J. Used like an expansion pack with AMI, bipolar 80 substitution fixes this issue. When a binary code has a string of eight zeros, alternating polar values are added in the fourth and seventh position. The result is a clear channel for communication. Remember when dealing with T1, you always need to roll a pair. Communication is ear to mouth, no ear to ear or mouth to Gotcha.